Hello, it's Markham Torch here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about the skin modifier and the cool things you can do with it. So once again here, I've got the default cube, which I deleted, then re-added, and then I'm going to click modifiers, add modifier, and click skin. Now what this has done is actually grabbed all the edges and kind of made them a mesh. So if I press Z to go into wireframe, we can see that we've got this. Now at some point here, there's this circle. Now that's kind of the root of the object and that's really comes into effect if you've only got a straight line for instance but we can talk about that a little bit later so I just press z go back in solid mode what we can do here is go add modifier subdivision surface and then we go now we start doing some cool little shapes now what happens if i want to scale it what i'm going to do is press a to select everything Control a to scale and we can blow it up or we can shrink it down. Now let your brain kind of think of the things you can do with this. So let's just quickly readdress this origin point. So let's say for instance, I were to grab this edge, shift D, Y, we can see that we actually don't have anything here, but I can select a point and come over and select mark root. And then that's kind of solidified that. So now I've just opened up a brand new blend file. And for those of you who have been following my channel for a long time, please make sure you hit the like button. It really helps me out and it pumps up those YouTube algorithms. Now, one thing I love doing is on spaceships, I love putting in pipes in, adding those little grief. This now brings it to a whole new level. What I'm gonna do is just go into top view. I'm gonna select one of these vertices, shift D to duplicate that. I'm gonna press P, separate by selection. And now I'm just gonna select it and go into edit mode. Let's come into the modifiers, add modifier, skin modifier. And then we can see that we've got now a cube for some odd reason. So I'm gonna select that point, control A, and we're gonna scale that in. And then let's just kind of make a really quick pattern. So I'm gonna press E, hold control, E, gonna just kind of, let's just put something together. Nice hard joint in there. And let's finish it up like that. So this is what we've got. Yep, that's nice. Let's go into add modifier. Let's add a subdivision surface. Now, look at that, we've created a pipe. How interesting. We can increase the viewport. It's a lot smoother. We can come up here and on the right hand side and select smooth shading. And now we've got a nice smooth pipe. I have found that on a 90 degree angle, we've got a bit of a, you know, weird deformation. So let's go tab into edit mode. And the way I've been solving this, I select one of the edges, W subdivide. Let's move that all the way over to about here-ish, and then go GY, just to kind of round that out. However, then we come up to the problem if we go select all control A to scale, and we go bigger, we kind of get that disjointed, or even if we go control A and go in, then we've kind of got that. But there you go, there's a way of adding pipes very quickly, very simply. And the other cool feature is, is obviously I can just duplicate it and I'm gonna move these probably here-ish. Let's go B and middle mouse button to deselect and I'm gonna go GY and just move that down. What I can do is select everything again just on this pipe and I can go Control A and then we can actually scale it up and have different size pipes all in the same mesh. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. So once again, if you can, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps up to date with my content. And let me know in the comments below if you found this really helpful.